The dance flow's silly, the ladies gon' feel me The fellas in the back, and they twistin' up a belly Get silly hey. Welcome Get to the silly. 2009 Get Final silly. Physics Project Featuring Get Rotational silly. Inertia And here is your physics Get crew Dave Arenas Matt Nevada Frank And Summy Wow And your cameraman, Patrick Mursky Today we're going to be talking about rotational inertia. Hey Matt. Hey Gabe. So, rotational inertia is the sluggishness of things when they rotate. And it can be measured. Like, let's say we have a circle or some kind of disc on an axis. <laughs> as you can see here. Whoa. And we would want to measure how hard it is to start this rotating. So it turns out that there's an equation you can use which is the integral of dm times r squared. <laughs> and that equals rotational inertia, which is known as the letter I. Uh. The letter I. Also important to note that rotational inertia is independent of the friction created by the axle. So this would be the axle. Oh. All right, that's all for today, class. Now it's time to do some experiments. So. Um, here we have in more simplified form this diagram with masses 1, 2, 3, 4 and they're each of a different radius away radius of 1, 2, 3, and 4 and I in a more simplified form equals the mass times its radius squared plus the mass times its radius squared of mass 2 mass 3, radius squared, and so on and so forth and so essentially I when condensed down from the integral form becomes m r squared plus m r squared plus so on and so forth until how many other point masses you have in the system. Later on, after class. Hey Gabe, I bet you can do a fun flip on that trampoline. I bet I could too. Prove it. Alright, we'll see. I have to are you watching something? <laughs> oh, I'm watching. I wouldn't want you to miss this. Oh! Ow. How fun. embarrassing! Failure. That was yeah. so bad. I think I'm just gonna... You know, maybe if I could just go back a few years, maybe then I could do it. But, we'll see. <laughs> Here I go, into the transformation shed. Whoa, I'm younger! <laughs> oh my god, a younger version of Gabe! It's almost like he's got less mass and less radius. Let's we'll see I if I can do it now. I wonder if his rotational inertia is also less. Whoa! Oh my god, I younger Gabe! What's up, buddy, old Matt? Stop! Hey, uh, so, guess what? I have a challenge for you! What is it? Well, uh, listen here. Um, bet you can't do one of them backflips. Ooh, I bet I can, Gabe. I bet you could. Oh, I'm about to do one right now. All right, let's That's see right. it. Yeah, here it goes. Oh! Oh no! That looks it's painful. Failed. No! Failed. If only I was younger, I could have done that. You know. I wish there was just a younger version of me somewhere, like in the transformation shed, that could do this for me. Oh my gosh, I feel 10 years younger. I bet I could do a fast one now. Let's find out. Yeah! Gosh, I don't understand. How was I not able to do that? Well, I mean, Matt and I were basically the same person, and 
Just I just doesn't add up. Why couldn't I do the front flip and why couldn't Matt do the back flip while our younger versions could? Well, you see, Gabe, it's all based on the physics of it. Um, let me show you a diagram similar to the one we had in class today. This is an old trap. You or Matt say, and as you can see, just like the figure we had used, the R is quite great, but a younger person, say, someone with a smaller R would have a smaller inertia because the equation I equals MR squared shows us that someone with a greater radius, such as you both, would have a larger inertia, making it more difficult to do flips on the trampoline. Geez, Sunny, thanks for explaining that to me. I would have never thought of it that way. You're so smart. Don't thank me. Thank physics. Welcome to the world! Welcome to the world! You got your pop star! I'll be your rock star! When it's a suicide, you call it superstar! Here, we have the dime. Low battery splashing. Weighing at 2.3 grams, and over here we have the quarter weighing at 5.7 grams. And we're gonna let them race, and we're gonna see who can stay on the ring the longest. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, <laughs> and it's the quarter. It's the quarter is going down first, and it's the quarter. It's like the cordage in the mall. The wheels of the bike have rotational inertia, mm -hmm. and when they're rotating, they can to not want to move side to side. Like if they weren't rotating, the bike wouldn't be able to stay up all by itself. But if they are rotating, the bike is able to stay up because the wheels don't want to tilt back and forth like the camera just did. Yep. And that's True. how rotational inertia helps us in everyday we have life. two cans of Quaker Oats. They're both the same size and shape, but one of them is empty. And this one is unopened, meaning it's full. Alright, so that one has a greater M, right? Meaning it has greater rotational inertia. Alright, so we're going to try to spin these. And you can see I can spin mine really fast. But then when I rotate this one, it doesn't go that fast at all. Wow. Rotational inertia at work. High five. Now you come down to earth. NICOR here is uh, checking the, the gas leak is okay. Um, should be out here momentarily, but as you can see, we have a mass crowd.